element y and z are both in period 3 of the doctor table period 3 elements uh, they are sodium magnesium aluminium silicon phosphorus sulfur and chlorine uh, of course argon so when the chloride of elements y is added to water it reacts and a solution of ph2 is produced so this uh, statement uh, let us know that it might be um, silicon uh, tetrachloride or this uh, phosphorus uh, pentachloride. Okay, because these two uh, chloride, um, it will form the uh, acid solution. So the silicon chloride with water will form the uh, white precipitate and the HCl. PCl5 with water will form the phosphoric acid and the hexyl. So both chloride will form this uh, acid solution. And uh, next statement is when the chloride of Z is added to water, it dissolves and the solution uh, with uh, pH7 is produced. Okay, this one is telling us that uh, the chloride is. Uh, is uh, sodium chloride because uh, in this uh, period 3 chloride only the uh, sodium chloride will form a solution with pH 7 magnesium chloride is 6.5 so therefore um, we know that uh, the element Z now is the sodium and the element element Y it could be silicon or phosphorus so now, which statement explain this observation? Both chlorides hydrolyzed in water? Nope. Uh, for the first statement, yes. Uh, the chloride uh, is uh, reacts with water and is get hydrolyzed. Um, the second statement here is uh, uh, it just dissolves. There is no hydrolysis. Okay, that's why this one not the answer. For B, Element Y is magnesium and element Z is sodium. Element Z is sodium, so element Y it cannot be magnesium. Okay, it must be either silicon or phosphorus. Okay, for C, element Y is phosphorus and element Z is aluminium. Mm, so Z it should be sodium. So therefore, uh, this one not the answer. Element Y is silicon and element Z is sodium. Yeah, so this is the answer. Right. So now we confirm that uh, the uh, chloride of element Y is uh, silicon tetrachloride. Okay, so answer is D. That's all. Thank you.